Hey folks, Quilly Teen here. Welcome to another episode of Let's Play Slay the Spire, the quest for Act 4. We've defeated the Act 4 boss as the Defect and the Silent, uh, but uh, not yet as the Ironclad. Um, bit challenging, maybe? Probably just playing things wrong. I'm running some mods over here, not very significant mods, nothing that'll change gameplay, but mods that are absolutely critical and you absolutely do not want to live without these mods. Okay, the googly eyes one less important. Uh, the colored map, very, very, very handy. Not very attractive. Not very attractive, as you'll see in a moment here. Um, if we take a look at the map, um, these colors are pretty garish, but man, oh man, does it make it easier to spot things, especially when you're blind like me. All right, we got a choice over here. Okay, I don't like losing the starting relic here, and the random boss relic could be too random. It could be amazing, but it could be really random. Um, that's a lot of damage for a rare card. Now, it's not a random rare card. We'd get to choose from three, and that could be very potent. Um, enemies in the next three combat have one hit point. Um, if there is no combat in these question marks, we could get to an elite with one hit point, which is kind of nice. But I think we're going to go and choose the rare card and hope it works out. Okay. Yeah, these are proper pr powerful. I think what we do is we grab Demon Form because that's kind of a win condition card. Demon Form is you put this down, survive long enough to accrue a fair amount of strength and just smack someone in the face with it. So we'll do that. It also tells us right away what kind of deck we're going to be constructing. So that's going to be all right. I think I'm still going to go up this route. I don't think we need an early shop. I like question marks. It's a little risky, especially since we have taken a hit of hit points right away to go directly into an elite um, with no option to bail. But What's the worst that could happen? Well, I guess we start another run with, uh, like, no super bonus. Um, I guess here we're going to double tap the acid, the acid slime and then just defend a little bit. We'll take some damage, which is unfortunate because it would be nice to just sit here and heal like crazy. Um, I don't know if it's worth demon forming in this fight. It's actually quite short. Oh, if you upgrade this, I don't think it gets cheaper. I think it's three um, damage per turn, right? I mean, we can't kill him 12. We're not going to lethal him the next turn anyway. You know what? Let's just drop the demon form. It's fine. Possibly go wrong. Drop a little lick on us. Um, he, oh, yeah. We have, like, the crap defend at this point. So I guess I'll bash. We'll load up some of this. So, yeah, we're taking a fair amount of damage this fight. We'll have lethal next turn, which is good. But still, not, not a terribly clean fight. All right, a little bit of healing there. What do we got? Um, none of these are things that, like, really scale well with a huge amount of strength. Clash is kind of nice. Wild Strike, I don't know. In Hemokinesis, probably not. Probably grabbing a Clash is not a terrible idea, especially early on like this. Lose more HP. You know what? What could possibly go wrong? 40 HP going to the Elite Fight? Oh, we'll trigger another trap. I'm going to take the Injury here. Actually, I'm going to lose the Max HP. I'd rather not be cursed, and Max HP at this point doesn't hurt us that much. Um... So if we go and defend, defend here, then we'll be able to clash and, of course, strike as well. We'll take one point of damage, which isn't too shabby. He's halfway dead. And uh, we're just going to go with the bash and the strike, and we'll have lethal next turn. He is going to armor up here, but it seems fairly unlikely that we're not... There you go. Going to get at least a little damage. Hell, we've got a handful of attacks, so we can even clash if we want to kill with a little extra style. There's Heavy Blade for the triple strength damage. Um... All right, I think I'll grab one. So you sort of, and at this point, we've sort of are set for kill. All we need to do is get some sort of, oh, at the shop over here, get any sort of uh, synergy to let us survive long enough to get it all going on. Probably still worth grabbing an inflame. Um, we can, oh yeah, I didn't take the curse. Might be worth removing stuff. We really don't need the strikes anymore because we're happy with just sort of doing the, the heavy blade whenever it comes up. Um, whenever you shuffle your discard pile, gain six block. Eh, I don't think it's worth grabbing. We don't really have panache tech right now. Blind is nice, because it's it's free, and weak is actually fairly decent defend. All burning pact isn't a terrible option. Does this one, yeah, just draw more. It'd be great if it just became free. We don't have any sort of, like, exhaust tech, although I suppose I could grab sentinel, but I don't know about that. I don't think we need to go with anger, although it is kind of nice, because it starts loading your deck with more and more angers, and as our strength keeps going up, it might be okay. I think I grab the inflame. And I think what I do is I remove a strike. Because we've added two attacks in here. And really, we, we sort of are happy with just letting the demon form build up. So getting rid of the fens early on. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Part of me is wondering if we could actually just get rid of the bash. We don't have anything else that deals vulnerable right now. So I guess we'll do that. But I'm actually a fairly big fan of removing bash. It's not the greatest card. Okay, we got the multi-fight. We do have the explosive potion, which is nice. 
Um, and yeah, I'll take this opportunity to just go ahead and demon form, and that's going to be okay. We'll take the nine straight up, but we'll get that out of the way. Uh, we were really... Wow, I didn't realize the dazes would have so many eyeballs on them. That's fantastic. Uh, we'll drop the inflame, we'll drop a defend, and then we'll just strike once, and we're going to hit the guy in the front, because we're trying to break up these two from being able to attack at the same time. I might have actually been able to take one out with the explosive potion in hindsight. Maybe that would have been better. I don't know. Um... So I'm going to have to hit you twice and then explode. Which I may as well do. So drop the defend. We'll use the explosive potion now so we get one less um, daze. We'll take a little bit of damage. But we should make it through this elite perfectly fine. Whoa, that is a little sucky, but hey! Kill you. Excellent. There we go. Strength, baby. I mean, maybe we didn't need the uh, other strength booster. Um... Yeah, I guess I can't play Clash, since I do have the uh, the Demon form, but it's okay. What we would like is the Double our Strength cards. Letter Opener, play three skills in the current uh, single turn. Th that damage doesn't scale with our Strength, but it's not bad. I think an Offering's a good idea. We don't need more Heavy Blades, we don't need the Anger. Offering's always good, and helps everything else go more. We're going to go for the heal before the fight, and probably... Yeah, we should probably go for a heal here, as much as I'm eager to get some smithing done. Let let's get out of, like something's gone wrong and we just die range these guys ah, they are both opening with an attack which is a bit unfortunate might be worth offering here i think i will i'll drop the inflame 10 i suppose i could bash and strike this guy and go for the kill even with the roll up so i think i'll do that and then I can just defend to take nothing over here. All right, that's that's a good turn. Very pleased with that. And then, uh, there you go, Heavy Blade you, done. Only damage we took is what, what stuff we inflicted on ourselves. So Dropkick, I mean, we only have one card that generates a vulnerable. Um, body Slam, I think we just skip here. I'm gonna try to keep our deck slim. Drop that one Heavy Blade as often as possible. Um, Shuriken. We, I don't think we need an extra card to give us strength. Shuriken would be nice. There's a good chance it's going to proc a lot. And we've got, you know, we're, we're trying to get a deck that's got a fair amount of strength, but we sort of got that already. It, it sort of hurts, because Shuriken is a good card. But at some point, we need to grab the Sapphire Key, and we don't know. I, I think we're willing to put up the Shuriken. We might get another chest where we're like, wow, that's a crap card, and I would have wished I'd just take the Sapphire Key now. But we're going to do that, sort of playing a little safe. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to Demon Form here. I think... I'm going to have to just do this, and then the Heavy Blade, by itself, is still better than a Strike in terms of pure damage. I will drop the Inflame here. I will otherwise double block to take nothing. We do have to kill him at some point before it runs away, but we should be alright. I guess I have to play the Offering if I want to Clash. Um, he will be vulnerable. Okay, let me start with the Offering. Okay, yeah, we're not going to be able to clash. We do have a fair amount of points, so we'll do this. I will strike. Yeah, there we go, okay. I was like, hold on, he's vulnerable, what's the math work out? I don't know, counting is hard. Wow, they really want to give us body slams. Um, second one's an interesting defensive card, I don't know. I think we're going to skip here. Man, I really want some, uh, what is it, like shrug it offs or something like that. That's really what I'm looking for. You're opening with an attack. I don't think I'll offering right now. Let's just do this. Inflame. Defend once. And then I'll start striking you. That's going to be okay. We'll take a little bit of damage on a debuff. That's fine. Um, I'm just going to go for damage. Because we should be able to kill him next time. Because the weakened wear is off. Uh, yeah, no, so we've got it. Okay, explosive potion. Armaments, I guess. Whirlwind does very good with stacking strength. We don't have an AoE yet. Ooh, ooh, oh, that's tough. A Whirlwind or A Cleave will be really nice, but I don't know. I mean, there will be an AoE fight. That's the slime guy, and the slime guy Whirlwind could be really good. Yeah, all right, I'll take it. It does hurt to not take the armaments, though. Hey, another just random shot. Okay, no artifacts for us. We can remove a card. Fire breathing, no, no, no. 
Iron Wave, not bad, actually, for us. Jack of all trades is kind of fun, too. I think the Iron Wave might be a slight improvement, although we can't remove a card and an Iron Wave. No, we're short by two. The thing is, Clash because let's good, becomes less good as I remove these strikes. You know, I'll just get an Iron Wave here. I think that actually will be slightly better for our deck. Um, I do need to go after one of these Flaming Elites at some point. With 30 hit points, I'd rather not. I'm going to go for the double question marks. And... Okay, the slime, we kind of do want more hit points before facing the slime. So here's the thing. If I heal, I'll be able to smith. Alternatively, we can get a relic and become cursed. Um, I think I'd rather smith. I'm going to heal. Oh, we're going to fight here. This one's fairly easy-ish. Um, well, we will inflame first. Yeah, too bad we can't get a kill here. Ah, oh, that's not true. With the explosive potion, I can. I mean, we will become vulnerable, but that's okay. We'll hit you. We'll throw this. Overall, we'll take slightly less damage. Done. Become vulnerable when one of these guys die, but that's okay. And then we'll go ahead and double tap this guy. Done, done. Okay. And the anger tech is quite good. It's quite nice. I don't think we're going to combust, although you can do some fun things with that. A burning pack. Gives us a little draw. We already have an offering, though. Like, I really... Like, an anger does load your deck with more and more just attacks as opposed to defenses, but they are free. And they are really nice with extra strength. Okay, you know what? I'll grab an anger at this point. Sure. Um, but we're going to smith instead of recalling here. So we could demon form for more strength growth. It'd be nice if it was a little cheaper. I'm very tempted to improve the offering here. The idea is... Um, you offering, you draw tons of cards, and you have the extra points, and it'll make it a little easier to draw the uh, demon form that term. The other thing to be said is upgrading the anger, because you do multiply the angers in your deck, but it's only two extra damage, and really most of the anger damage is going to come from strength. Iron Wave upgrade would also be good. Uh, Inflame for the extra strength is also nice. I think, though, the right thing to do right now is to boost the offering. I think that'll get us sort of started with our deck a little bit more. Wow, those are big eyes. Um... Kind of a weak first turn, but I guess we're going to go. What is this? The random skill? Oh, hopefully we can, we can deal without that. We'll do this. We're on for zero. All right. We got gooped with some slimes. We still have no deck manipulation. Wow. That is kind of annoying. But I guess next turn will actually be a good one to offering because we'll certainly be drawing into the demon form. So that's okay. I guess we'll just uh, heavy blade and strike you. That's going to be all right. Bring you closer to the 70. Almost certainly we'll be able to pop. Well, I say that. I don't know. So we're going to offering. We are going to demon form. We'll, we'll drop the uh, end flame as well. Um, I don't think we can actually get you past 70, but it's not the end of the world. We can clash. All right, I mean, we're going to clear. Yeah, yeah, okay, so it's going to be fine. So, I'm going to anger, obviously. And then we don't need to block, and the strike does slightly more damage. So we'll go and do that. Would have been nice to get you much lower to 70, so your next form is, is lower. But we're well set up for a whirlwind now. Um, can we pop one of these guys before he actually attacks us? Well, no, no. Do I want a heavy blade? I guess the answer is yes. No, yeah, we're gonna take a time. You know what? Let's let's drink the sleek ill potion here. Um, into a shrug it off. There we go. For a little bit more block. We will heal after this fight. I'm just making sure we don't die here. We should be okay, yeah, especially with the whirlwind here, which we're definitely gonna drop. Um, is that going to split your form? 33 damage? Yeah, I guess so. I suppose I could Heavy Blade you first. I actually could not Whirlwind here. Either way, that's going to split you. I guess I could do that and Whirlwind for one. It would split all these guys. You're just going to debuff me. Would I rather... Would I rather just Heavy Blade you and then burn off a Slime? No, you know what? This is going to make you, like, basically nothing. You'll you'll split into two, but they'll be super weak. You're right if we just drew another whirlwind right now, which we can't, but... Um, we will shrug it off here. And I guess what we'll do is we'll just double tap you. I mean, then we didn't... We sort of didn't need to shrug it off for the block, but... Who knows what we might have drawn. This is going to be fine. We're still gaining strength, which is great. We've got an iron wave set up. Can we kill... No, that's... 23 damage. We can't kill you. So, I mean, we'll get rid of you. Um, 
guess I may as well eliminate you, or I could bring you closer to death range, but... No, we'll do this, and then I'll defend. We'll still take one. And we've only got one target here. That's okay. Here, start to load up the angers. 18! 18 again! I think the anger is going to work out pretty well with our strength gain. Okay, uh, Berserk is interesting. So, we gain three points of vulnerability, which is scary, but we do get extra energy. We've got a feed over here, and feed with the strength boost is a very high chance we'll be able to take advantage of a lot of that. Okay, we'll go for the feed. We are hoping for an energy relic, though. Two wounds in our draw pile. Ooh, Ori. Uh, I think we're going to take this. The Mark of Pain for the energy. The wounds kind of suck, but maybe what we'll do is we'll get some... We'll, we'll go ahead and get some exhaust tech, or we'll get an evolve card or something like that to help compensate for it. It's going to be okay. Money's not bad. We could go for a shop. It'd be nice if we could, like, hit a shop when we got lots of relics. Here's our Flaming Elite over here. The chances of us actually being able to fight him is pretty low. This is going to be tons of fights. Elite fight and this. Our hip and then there's no rest after this into another Elite. We can't afford to do that. We're going to have to take the left branch, even though it sucks. All right, let's go here and go there. And then either way, we're going to hit a shop and we'll, we'll sort of decide our path at that point. We got some thievery stuff going on. And that's okay. We'll drop the inflamed. Um, and then we'll probably just defend, defend, defend here. Hey, letter opener. Doesn't come up very often, but sure. Take a little bit of damage. Um, I guess we can't clash because of the wound, which is very annoying. Uh, we'll Iron Wave and Strike and then drop the Defend. And we have an energy left over and we can't do anything with it. Woo! Mm hmm. So that would Whirlwind five times. For 35 damage. Definitely kills the guy in the front. Oh, it's six times. Sorry, I forgot I had the extra energy. Yeah, you know what? We'll just do this. It's fine. Thump, 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 thump. Thump, thump. And anger for the kill. Okay. Excellent. Um, metallicize, probably. Still, armaments is cool, but metallicize is going to be good. And if we do fight, like, anti-power guy, he's always annoying. Um, lose the golden idol, replace it with something I think which is, like, even more gold generation. The bleeding one. Whenever you gain gold, heal 5 HP. Oh, yeah! No, that's really good. Really good. Let's take the... Let's take the left branch here, I think. Kill this guy. And then, then do this shop, so we'll have slightly more money going to the shop. It means not hitting this elite, though. I guess he'll... Hmm. I like question marks. But I guess the elite will be better. If we show up here and we, we're hurt, then we can go with this campfire. Yeah, we'll take the right branch. Uh, so we can't afford the magic flower, but that's okay. Runic Dodecahedron is interesting. More energy when we're at full health. Uh, then there's just the Waffle for a full heal and max HP. I'm not sure it's worth taking those. It's hard to maintain full health. Yeah, I don't know. Um, we we don't have a curse. We might still want to do some removals. Yeah. Uh, I think we want to shrug it off. Heal damage equals the number of cards in your draw pile. It is innate, so you do get to do a bunch of damage right up front, but that's not very helpful. Transmute is fun. But very RNG. I think we'll remove a card. And I'm actually starting to wonder. Well, I mean, Clash will work better with Anger. But you know what? Like, so many times it's a dead draw. Especially now that we're going to have wounds. I'm still inclined to remove strikes. I'm thinking Clash is going to be a dead draw more than anything else. And that maybe we should just get rid of it. That hurts. Hindsight, I wish I hadn't taken it. But I think our deck is better if we remove Clash. I think the strikes will be better, especially with the strength gain. I mean, there's a lot of base damage, don't get me wrong. But so many times, it's going to be completely dead. Yeah. It's bonkers. Bonkers. But I think it's correct. Okay, you. Duh, 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 duh. I mean, we were going to want the inflame right away. Well, I guess I should shrug first. Because I was going to say, if demon strength comes up now, I'll be a little salty. But strike, anger... Defend. Take no damage. Whack, whack. Alright, now you're gonna curse me, but it's a good turn for us to just go and cast all the things. Get rid of the wounds on a very convenient turn, actually. Excellent. Um, We're not gonna pass feed now. We'd really like to optimize it. Yeah, we'll do the big offering. Shoop. There's our demon form. I guess we may as well drop a metallicize, too. What the heck, right? Um... And then I guess the most damage is probably going to be the Heavy Blade right now. 
I don't know if we'll be able to get off a good feed. Because, I mean, there's going to be a redraw here. We might get lucky while well, the dazes don't help. Drag it off. Yeah, just go for the kill so we don't take the damage. Oh, well. Okay. Dun -dun -dun. Uh, we're not going to take that. A Twin Strike and Anger, both are good in these strength decks. The thing is, do we even need it? Right? It makes your deck bigger, a little less consistent. Twin Strike is really good with the bonus strength, but all we have to sort of do is, like, grab the Heavy Blade or Whirlwind or something and just, like, murder, death, kill. We've already got an Anger. So I don't, I don't tend to like a lot of Anger up front. Anger is nice because you get more Angers in your deck over time, which is also how your strength grows. I think I'm just going to skip this. The idea being is hopefully we can just uh, get the, like, double your strength card and then be able to spam it more regularly. Uh, I guess I'll bash. I will defend one time. Uh, this is a steroid potion for super strength. But maybe we'll just use it when we pick up a uh, heavy blade here and do huge damage in one go. Um, I could do a massive whirlwind. It would be a 40-point whirlwind. It wouldn't kill him. He is malleable as well. I don't think that I don't think that kicks in between doses of whirlwind. I think I'm just gonna demon form and inflame. Fortunately, I've got to suck 23 points of damage here. 21 points of damage. That is really kind of crummy. I'll just use the feed here. We defend for no reason. We'll just steroid up. Take 35, and now die. Okay. Uh, yes, an impervious would be wonderful. Very good. I'm a little bit leery about going for the elite here. I think I'm going to rest for the heal. We still need to get that ruby component, too. Uh, upgrade a card. Um, a special relic. So, well, we don't have another shop anytime soon. Damn. So the relic is a relic that upgrades one card in your hand every every round, which is really nice. But I don't think I want to sit around with pain right now. So we'll just do it this way. That's going to have to be okay. That makes it 40. I don't think it makes much of a difference. Metallicize upgraded is nice. Um, upgrading the feed does make it give us more HP quite a bit faster. I'm partially wondering about the Demon Form or even the Iron Wave for the block. I mean, these are all good options. I mean, the sooner you upgrade feed, yeah, I mean, it does start to accrue the max HP a lot better. We haven't gotten a chance to, like, get a kill with it yet, which is kind of annoying. Will Inflame. I'll go ahead and double defense so we take no damage. I will kill the dude in the back, even though it will make us, um, it will make us vulnerable. It's still going to be better overall. Uh, let's see, with five, we could do both, but we can't, because we don't. Um, I think I have to Impervious over here, so no Demon Form this turn. I'll just Iron Wave in the back, drop some more Defend. So we'll take nothing. I mean, I didn't need to do the extra Defend, but why not? Mm, whirlwind here? Okay, Whirlwind and Anger this dude. We'll take his full damage, though. Maybe I'll shrug it off. So we whirlwind for a little less, but that's okay. Uh, it would be better if I angered you first, because it'll take one extra tick off your armor. And then now I'm vulnerable, so, you know, a little bit more damage from this guy, but that's okay. Alright. Yes to the offering. Get a little redraw here. We'll drop the heavy blade. That's fine. I will metallicize, defend, defend again, um, and then, yeah, just drop a regular strike here. I'll take a little bit of damage, not too much. Wow. Well, I guess we're playing everything, but, man. Where's their big kill? Yeah, these, these wounds that get injected. The Mark of Pain's pretty good, but the wounds do definitely suck. Um, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, Anger, Anger, Whirlwind, die. Okay. Skill Potion, Sugar Gripping Upgraded. I don't know, this exhaust, exhaust card in our hand, usually we can work our way around it, but it might screw us. And again, the Twin Strike scales nicely, but we, we've got, we've got the Strength to kill. Gremlin Horn, alright, that could be fun. Sneko Fight could also be a lot of fun, actually. Um, uh, we'll just go ahead and bash Anger. And then the rest doesn't matter. Random skill. At least this is a guaranteed cost zero, even while confused. 
Expensive feed. Um, all right, let's go ahead and drink this. And actually, I'll pick up the ghostly armor here. We'll do this. And I mean, I guess we heavy blade. And then whirlwind. All the normal stuff goes out of the window when you're fighting the Sneko. Um, offering's still okay, and actually probably a good thing to do here. Draw lots of cards. I will drop the demon form, and we'll probably accrue a little bit of defense here. Which I guess is going to be a defend and a metallicize. But now we have our strength building engine. Shrug it off for zero. I could impervious for 30, but I mean, we're only going to take, actually, we're only going to take one point of damage because we do have the metallicize down. So I guess I'll drop a bash, so you're going to be vulnerable for next turn. Buff slightly more strength as well, of course. Hail whip. Um, heavy blade. Anger. Dead. Draw more cards, maybe. Havoc is fun, but so random. We could get a Thunderclap. This will give us a second AoE and a way to mass apply vulnerable. And it is nice with strength gain, but again, I think I think our deck is, is verging on too big. This might be a good opportunity for us to grab a recall. We're not desperate to heal. I mean, obviously Smiths are good, but we're gonna take a recall while it's kind of safe. And do that. So we still have to kill a flaming elite. We haven't done that. So we have to take the path to the flaming elite in the last one. Um that's interesting. I think I'm going to take the upgrade route here. We might still end up removing some more stuff later on, but for now, just upgrading, we're going to appreciate that, especially the blocks. And we are going to go here, and we're going to go and do some more smithing at this point. And higher base damage. Quite a bit of higher base damage. I think what we have to do is improve something that increases our defense. So it's Shrug It Off, Metallicize, or Iron Wave. I guess Metallicize. Sure. Especially if we get like an armaments plus later on. Uh, it's a higher priority usually to play one time upgrade like outside of your deck, upgrade one time powers because you're it's less likely you'll get a second chance to um, armaments plus. Now this is very interesting. Lantern, and eh, the red's call, yeah, it's not it's not gonna matter that much. Uh, if we did have the double the strength thing, flex starts to combo, like nipple eye, that's funny. Um, I think maybe a second offering. I mean, these are all fine. The iron wave is pretty good too. The pummel does scale exceptionally well with strength. It's on sale, it's exhaust, so it's not like it increased your deck that much. I don't think we need another Inflame. I'm really tempted to go for another Offering. We have no Curses, right? No. Um, still wondering if removing the Bash might be a good idea. I mean, applying uh, Vulnerable is nice. But again, keeping our deck super thin, and we have a few very expensive cards to play already. I'm really thinking that removing the Bash might improve our deck. Ah... <sighs> I mean, we're not going to want to play Pummel until we get a Strength up. But it is pretty good. F it. I'm going to get another Offering. Because it effectively makes our deck smaller. The Iron Wave is pretty good. Alright, I'm going to do that. Because I am concerned about our, our overall lack of block potential. We'll go ahead and do another Smith here. I will upgrade the other Offering. And we can dig deep and greedily with it. All right, so we got Dude who summons his two little buddies. He's got plenty of artifact, which doesn't matter. Uh, we'll start with the Shrug It Off. Hopefully we do not... Nope, no Demon Strength. But we'll drop the Metallicize at least, and then we'll just hit him for a little bit of damage here. That's going to be okay. We've got no potions to play. That's fine. So they're going to steal something right away on turn one. Let's go ahead and Offering here. Hopefully we can find our Demon Form. There's our Demon Form, so you can't steal that. Ha! Um, I could Impervious. It's a little overkill on the block. Um, I mean, the feed's not handy right now. I and mean, these guys count as minions. You know what? Killing the boss with the feed is a little unlikely. But we're definitely going to anger. I guess I'll probably start on the orb dudes. I'll probably do the block. Again, the longer we wait, the stronger we get in this fight. I mean, at some point, he's going to do his ultra thing. So I don't want Impervious. I'd like to save that for that. Uh, I guess... Um, Two strikes does more damage than the heavy blade, but I guess I'll use the feed. Again, I probably won't be able to get the kill on the boss of the feed. It's fairly unlikely. So I'll just go ahead and wail on this guy as much as possible and go. And I think that little alert you hear, yep, 
I'm gonna have to go and put a cut in here. I know kind of an awkward place to put in a cut. I knew there's a possibility I'd have to cut this run into two videos, which is gonna have to happen. So we're gonna leave it right here. Will we kill this boss? I think we will kill this boss. The question is, are we gonna make it to act four and are we gonna be able to kill the heart? That's the big question mark. We got some interesting stuff in the deck, but it still feels like there's some awkwardness going on. So we'll have to see. Thanks for watching and we'll come back in the next episode.